Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now behind me we have an Abarth 124 Spider, a car which I have, well, haven't really experienced before. Now I have driven one once, very briefly, and that was actually probably around its release a couple of years ago. However, this one is not standard by any means. This car is a tuned car, I believe running around the 200 brake mark. It's got sports cat and it's lowered to the floor. It's owned by a guy called Jay, who's also on YouTube, um, who I'll introduce you to very shortly. But for now, well, it's raining and we've got a convertible. And that is just, well, it's typical, isn't it? Okay, Jay. Welcome to the channel and thank you very much for bringing this little beast along. Um, I much. think there's going to be quite a lot to talk about really because you've done well quite a bit to it. It's probably one of the most highly modified ones in the UK um, with sports cat tune and everything like that. Yeah. Um, so without further ado, if, uh, yeah, far away. Talk about it. <laughs> well, where do I begin? Um, so I've had this car since new. Mm -hmm. um, second 124 Spider in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, a Bath UK helped me get this particular car that I wanted in Portogallo Grey. Mm -hmm. I was actually originally going to go for black, but uh, Bertie Bryant of the Bath Owners Club beat me to that. I didn't want to be um, accused of copying him. Yeah. Actually, I think the, the grey looks really good, especially with the heritage wrap on it, the bonnet and boot. It kind of breaks it up a bit, doesn't it? I think it really does, yeah, it sets it off. In terms of the tune, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's got a Torque Motorsports sports cat, 200 cell. It's got the Abarth Monza exhaust um, wide open. So you've taken the valves out, basically. <laughs> so the valves out, so it's completely straight through. Yeah. It's also got a BMC air filter and a custom tune. Um, which was done by Tune for Performance. The suspension setup is Bill Stein shocks with 30 mil. Um, you can see there's not much clearance there. 30 mil H and R springs. <laughs> what I will do quickly is because I know you showed me this off camera. Is just well the rear, and if I try and put my pinky finger in there, I I can't. Not much clearance there. <laughs> so you had to what sort out the camber, wasn't it? Yeah. So. Initially, once the springs and suspension, um, they asked you to drive it a bit and let it settle down. It yeah. seemed really, really good. And then um, probably about half an hour into driving, I realized that I was scraping. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Badly. Uh, in fact, so badly that these are four new um, Goodyear Eagle F1s. The original set of tires were completely carved up. Um, this is metal on yeah. the Abarth 124 Spider. And there's a really annoying lip there. Um, and you literally cannot push your finger through, but yeah, so I had to add camber um, six degrees, which is quite aggressive. You yeah. can see the poke <laughs> just to get around that. Now, I yeah. think that actually looks quite cool. It does. Um, Very now, cool. The debate is out. Does this look cool? Doesn't it? I don't know. I'm sure YouTube will tell us. Yeah, well, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing they will do and they will definitely say that. I um, think it looks cool. From the back, it looks so much wider. Because, well, when you're, when you're down here, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this because my camera's in the wrong mode, but you can just see, well, the tyres, basically. Yeah, yeah, so the tyres are poking out a little bit. Um, the spacers, so you can see there's a staggered fitment. We've got plus 20 millimeter IL Motorsport spacers on the front, which I think looks great. Um, and on the rear, we've got plus 25. Um, which is a big spacer. Are, yeah, so you've got a very wide stance at the back mm -hmm. with the six degree camber these were actually for the Mazda MX-5 so as many mm. people will know this yeah. car shares the same chassis uh, not engine <laughs> <laughs> that would offend him <laughs> look let's be honest you know it was built on the MX-5 uh, platform uh, the MX-5 platform was actually co-produced by Fiat and Abarth so mm -hmm. you know say what you want that's yeah. the reality um, it's got the Brembo's they're standard yep um, what else Wheels. Well, the wheels, of course, <laughs> yeah. So the, 
How can I figure out the wheels? <laughs> Everything apart, apart from the wheels. <laughs> so the wheels are probably the best wheels, in my opinion, in the world. Yeah. They are the OZ Racing uh, Ultra Legueras in 18 inch. Um, yeah, I love the, the carbon. You know what, you, you, you see these wheels on a lot of cars and they just suit them all, don't they? So, they do. Uh, the reason they suit pretty much all the cars, if you look at the front, they're very, um, they allow a lot of the brake to be shown. They, they, they show the Brembo's really yeah, nicely. that's true actually. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Guys, excuse the car, it's filthy. <laughs> it's absolutely filthy. It's, I've just come from Shoreditch in London on the M4. Uh, to where are we, Berkshire? I've Somewhere. literally no idea. I think there's an allotment over there, right. and there's some weird M140 over there. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so back to the OZ wheels. So I love these wheels. Um, I actually fell in love with these first, seeing them on the Abarth Bipasto. Yes. Bipasto, Bipasto, yeah. Bipasto, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> the Abarth Bipasto for me it was was one of the best Abarths I've ever seen, and still is. Mm. Anyone who owns one of them, absolute legend, because you don't get aircon, you don't get a stereo, um, it's pure driving pleasure. But what you do get is these 18 inch wheels, so I basically nicked the idea yeah. from the Viposto and put them on here. I think they look really good. The 17 inch wheels on this car as standard are rubbish in my opinion, mm -hmm. and they're way too small. Um, yeah, they might be really comfortable, but this car for me, as you can see with this setup, yeah. is not about comfort. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not with that <laughs> on the back. No, mate, it looks awesome. It really yeah. does. It yeah, really I does. Mean, so you, you do lose traction, especially with the tune. Um, I want to talk a bit about the custom tune. So yep. um, the the tune was done by Tune for Performance. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony there, absolute legend. He's the master of a bath tuning in mm -hmm. the UK. Yeah. Um, they had a lot of trouble with this car. They always do. The multi-air engines on this car and the Puntos, and the Alfa Romeo uh, Giulietta yep. um, and Mito, they really struggled to be tuned because of the multi-air brick. Um, and the 500s and the 595s, they just have a much simpler engine. You can take a, a, a stock car from new and tune it immediately mm. and tune for performance to 220, 230 brake horsepower, no problem. Yeah, yeah. What happened with my car and um, the other multi-airs and all the the, um, all the other cars is they they really had trouble getting it above 205. I had 205 brake. Um, unfortunately, every time I hit the, the right pedal, yeah, uh, the ECU just cut out all the power, and it was just really really annoying um, and quite disconcerting to suddenly just be hooning and then suddenly yeah. cut yeah. all power. So they had to dial it down. Um, initially, they dialed it down too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I took it back and, and the guys, especially Tony, who's the legend, the master, um, he didn't charge me any extra. I think I had three tunes on this. Oh, wow. Um, the third tune, which is this tune, mm -hmm. I'm so happy with. Some people would say it's a little bit obnoxious. It is very loud. It is very loud. I'll possibly get you to start the, it up in a minute, actually. <laughs> possibly the loudest above 124 Spider in the world. Genuinely, it is unsurprising. Well, it's very surprisingly loud, actually, should I say. Video does not do this. No. Um, actually, I should say audio on on the very true. on devices yeah. does not do this car any justice. It is very loud. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's beast. Um, the only other thing to say, styling wise, got the Craven Speed stubby aerial mm -hmm. taken from the MX5 ND. Yeah. Um, and carbon fibre. Oh, carbon fibre mirrors. mirrors. I think, well, definitely the thing which I'm most excited to share with the viewers is how this thing sounds actually. So if you don't mind. Could you hop in and um, well, give it the beans, Let's shall we do say? It. Let's do because, it. well, th this genuinely does sound ridiculous. Has it got aftermarket pops and bangs as well? It does. It does, okay, yeah, that explains that. <laughs> Listen to this. So, the first thing you notice is the turbo spool. Yeah, definitely. That's a very fast. Sometimes on camera, it cuts out. I'm pretty sure that your camera is very, very professional and very high end, so <laughs> it, it may not, but sometimes you know when it goes too loud, it cuts out the audio. Yeah. Anyway, here, here we go. <laughs> that is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. 
That is nuts. So it pops and bangs standard, right? But just not as much as that. Um, mine didn't, interestingly, when oh, I first okay. got it, which is probably why I've gone so extreme with this <laughs> shoe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, so they, they do pop on shift. Yeah. But they don't bang like that. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was like an explosion. Um, now, anyway, what we're going to do now, um, we are going to hop out in the car and go for a quick drive. Um, you very well bravely put the roof down um, because it is raining. I do need to say that throughout this whole shoot, we are respecting the social distancing guidelines and within the guidelines that are set and up to date within filming this video, car sharing is possible, providing that you don't aim at each other and talk and also you have the windows down or in this case, the roof down. So. Um, yes, we are very much so taking precautions. Uh, the little bits, like the door handles, which I personally will touch, will be sanitised before and after. Um, I also get in the car in a moment, uh, and also when um, when we finish filming today. Normally, as you can well, as you can probably tell, the talking of this video has been basically mainly here, static, at a distance. Um, so normally we do spend a bit more time in the car, um, but obviously we won't be doing that as much in this video because of obvious reasons. Anyway, let's hop in the car as it is starting to rain. He's sitting there under the tree, getting dripped on. Um, anyway, yeah, let's go make some noise, go have some fun before wrapping this video up. Stock one of these. I actually drove one very briefly. 
I think because of everything that's going on at the moment, I want to uh, minimise the amount of time we've spent in the car together. Um, so I think, well, we'll head on back to base, the weird car park that we're in, um, and then we'll wrap up the video there. Back at the car park, I do apologise for my hair as well. It is an at look at the state of that. Um, anyway, <laughs> that, that is loud. Do you think you could get it any louder? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's only sports cat, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, if that was decat yeah. and had a, a also it's got it whilst it's got the va the valve on the back box. Yeah. If it was completely straight through and it was a custom system, which I have toyed about, or yeah. increasing the bore, yeah. you would make it louder. But I think it's pretty loud as it is. No, it's it's definitely not quiet, I'll give you that. <laughs> definitely not quiet anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i will leave jay's uh instagram and youtube links down in the description and down below uh, unfortunately we can't really do much in terms of weather and in terms of social distancing so i hope you can understand that uh, but that's it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come <laughs>